Hey, do you want to start the new year well? I got my diabetes and my cholesterol biomarkers all changed within just two weeks. Do you want to know how I got my HbA1c score down like this? I got my triglycerides down from 243 to 97 in just 15 days. That's normally impossible. And I got my LDL cholesterol score down 40 points in just eight weeks. And no, I don't starve myself. Let me show you how I did this. So after about a decade, I'm gonna share with you some things that I've not shared before. You're gonna see how it all started. remember in my young days that I had massive digestive issues, I soon realized that whatever I ate would cause me to put on weight very, very fast. I would get inflamed just on one meal. And guess what? When others had energy to eat, I lost my energy when I ate. So I started looking deeply into understanding what was going on with my physiology. Later on, I found out that I had a genetic model that didn't allow me to digest food like others could digest their food. So guess what? I started praying. And my prayer life led me to understand the scriptures. I understood the relationship that God wanted us to have with food. And this blew me away. So can it be heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and all the sicknesses that is ailing humanity today is because we don't know what God's planned relationship was for us to have with our food. Now, the more I dwelt into the scriptures, the more it showed that idolatrous patterns is what causes us to be in bondage. At the same time, I started understanding the revelation that was coming out of this, I started losing my appetite. It was crazy. And so much so that my energy soared, but my appetite was completely reduced. And so I started fasting and fasting and fasting. The interesting thing was, at that same time, I'd planned to do a half a marathon. My logic said, you got a carb stack, but my discernment and my intuitive spirit led me to fast. I started asking the right questions. How much of lipids do I have on my body? How much of energy do I already have stored? Is there a ratio of energy that is different to what we are used to? And guess what? I completed the marathon. I just finished the 21K. I'm not eating for three months. I'm very energized. Three months ago, I reduced eating completely 300 calories per day. A juice once in a couple of days. A tea once in a couple of days. I have not eaten at all. This is the fruit of man that's not live by bread alone, but by the word of the living God. And when I completed my half a marathon, I was now sure that the body is an energy management system. And the brain, which is the key hardware, helps the whole biology to manage that energy. So after that, the news got around and I got invited to speak for many, many different events. One being TEDx. Consumerism is the emotional deficit of a community. Indeed, I like to quote a personality who when he was asked who he was, simply stated, I am. Every time mankind faces a challenge, there's a new or higher level of consciousness that comes in. We can assume a new identity to face the very challenges that we can face today. And after that, even Nat Geo saw the TEDx talk and they wanted me to come on board. My name is Kirby. I live on the vibration frequencies of God and not just on the food that uh, the everyday man eats. And the archetype of that frequency is actually the cross or the communion of the Christ. Now, let me tell you how that happened. Actually, when the producer first got in touch with me, after wanting me to come on board, she challenged me with the question, how do I know this is true? And I told her the simplicity of what I understood as a pastor. I said, look, anything that is authentically Christ can be transferred in prayer. Maybe she was a Christian and she said, okay, then pray over me. And so I prayed over on the phone. Okay, this is how this happened. This is what we call impartation. And guess what? After two weeks, she was in touch with me again. She said, look, Kirby, I'm a bit scared because I have lost my appetite. And that was the start of a relationship that she knew that something got transferred Then it was her birthday and she wanted to be rewired back to be able to have a good appetite. Okay? And she had not eaten anything, just leaving on coffee for two weeks. Okay? That took me to New York. So when I went to New York, 
They did all the medical due diligence with doctors and they wanted me to transfer the technology to a five-day program to with nutritionists around to a participant. He has developed a program that he wants to share with the world, a program that he claims resets the brain so that the body doesn't crave food as a necessity for survival. He has traveled to New York City to instruct his first American student, Hunter, who has already completed the seven-day program over the internet through Kirby's website and via Skype. Sable is a nutritionist, so she is inherently skeptical. Of Essentially goes completely against everything I've learned about health, nutrition, and fitness. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Coming to New York to see Kirby in person, I was just like excited to talk to him because since Kirby's come into my life, it's made my life better. How is he doing, let me ask her. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I mean, it's crazy. Are you, are you, are you surprised? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the science, but I had the theology and I had the experience. Okay, I would have sounded crazy, but he went to 400 million homes. Jesus, this is your body. And you said that this is food indeed. And right now I bring it to the cellular level. This is food indeed. This is drink indeed. Did you feel anything when I laid my hand on it? Yeah. yeah. I, felt, I, I felt, felt really relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel anything? I feel really relaxed. Yeah. 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 Felt like just joy. Yeah, something joy. Yeah. 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 So since then, guess what? Science caught up, and I caught up with the science myself. I've grown not only just in my theology now. I've grown also in the science of understanding the nervous system. And I can tell you something: that science is still trying to recognize, still trying to come into its fullness. And I just want to give you a sneak peek of what I think is going to come scientifically in the future, but what is deeply understood by the Word of God. The Hadza tribe in Africa and the person on a computer in New York on the stock exchange, they burn the same amount of energy per day. It doesn't matter how many steps someone has done. This is what we've been trying to say, that exercise alone does not make you lose weight. So then, how do you lose weight when you do exercise? Here's my submission to you. Can it be that exercise causes your body to get the right message? And then the neurohormones change and you have the right hormonal recipe that comes up and that recipe literally changes your body and actually suddenly you start losing weight, you start getting fitter and your whole body starts getting well. If you want to reduce your HbA1c in 2024, if you want to reduce your diabetes, if you want to reduce the probability of heart disease and cancer, can it be that the right message through food, exercise, and the right recipe can shift your body to become well again? Would you believe if I tell you that the absorption of nutrients in your body is according to your state of mind? And that is coming right from the New Testament. The future is not about different types of diets, but the future is about training your nervous system to be able to absorb nutrients from different sources of fuel. The ratio, the mix, changing that ratio at your will, at your intensity, and in the season changes is so important to you. And so therefore, you would have to understand the teachings of the conscience once again. The all new five day program has not only caught up with the science, but has the experience and the theology to back it so that you can have a reset in 2024. Get ready for the Immortalist.